Something amazing is happening right now in the night sky. The growing visibility of Comet C2025R2, Swan. This icy traveler is turning into one of the most exciting sights of the year. And over the next few weeks, it could become bright enough for many of us to see with binoculars, or even with the naked eye, if you're under a dark sky. Astronomers first spotted this comet on September 12, 2025, using the SWAN instrument aboard the SOHO spacecraft. SWAN stands for Solar Wind Anisotropies, and it's designed to study hydrogen in space, which makes it surprisingly good at picking up new comets. Once the detection alert went out, observatories and amateur astronomers all over the world rushed to take a closer look. Early images showed a classic greenish glow with a faint sweeping tail, a signature of sunlight interacting with gas and dust as the comet warms up. Since then, SWAN has been getting brighter as it heads closer to the sun. Like all comets, it's basically a frozen mix of rock, dust and ices, water, carbon dioxide and other gases. When sunlight heats those ices, they sublimate, turning straight from solid to gas. That gas carries along dust particles, forming a glowing coma around the nucleus and the long shining tail that comets are famous for. The tail always streams away from the sun, shaped by solar wind and radiation pressure. Right now, estimates put the nucleus of Swan at just a few kilometers across, which is pretty typical for a comet. Its apparent size compared to other recent comets comes not from an enormous solid core, but from how much material it's releasing as it gets warmer. Some headlines online are comparing it to other comets like Atlas, saying it's 100 times bigger, but that's more about its brightness and tail size than its actual mass. Brightness can be tricky because it depends on how reflective the dust is and how active the surface becomes. What makes C2025R2 exciting is how fast it's developing. Its tail has already stretched several degrees across the sky in photographs, that's a few times the apparent width of the full moon. If activity keeps ramping up as it nears perihelion or its closest point to the sun, we might have a lovely show. Now, if you live in the northern hemisphere, the best time to look is about 45 minutes after sunset. Step outside, face toward the southwest, and keep your view low to the horizon. Around October 1st, you'll find the comet passing close to the star Zubin Nelganubi in the constellation Libra. Because the sky is still a bit bright after sunset, the comet might not jump out right away. As we head deeper into October, Swan will drift through Ophicus, gliding near the star Sabic on October 13th. Around the 17th, it crosses the Milky Way close to the famous Eagle Nebula, which should make for incredible photos if you're into astrophotography. A low-power telescope or a camera with a zoom lens will frame both objects beautifully. By October 20th, the comet reaches its closest approach to Earth. It won't be dangerously close, but it will be at its brightest and moving quickly through the sky. That's when you'll have the best chance of spotting its tail stretching away from the sun. Even if you only have binoculars, you'll get a wonderful view and on very dark, clear nights, there's a chance it could be faintly visible without any equipment. So over the coming weeks, keep an eye on news from NASA, ESA, and amateur observers who post incredible images online. If SWAN stays intact, October and November could offer some of the best comet viewing we've had since NEOYs. Set an alarm for the early morning, grab a warm drink, and step outside. You might get to see a glowing tail stretching across the stars, a reminder of how much wonder still waits above us.